Sometimes you have to use your truck's bed for hard work, while other times it's just for fun. Well, today is definitely option two as we look at how to load an ATV into your truck. There are tons of different kinds of ATV ramps out there. Just make sure you get something from a recognized company that is rated to take the amount of weight that you're applying. Then you need to line up your ATV with the bed of your truck and place those ramps in the center of the ATV's wheels. You need to remember to attach your ramps onto your pickup truck to make sure they don't fly out from under you while you're loading. The best way to do this is to hook a strap onto the bottom of the ramp and then put the other end through the safety chain hookup beside the hitch. If you own one of those rare trucks without a hitch, you can use any metal part of the truck's frame that you can access from the rear. Then just tighten up your straps. It doesn't need to be extremely tight, but nice and snug to make sure you have a good hold on that ramp. Always remember, safety comes first, so always wear an approved helmet. When loading your ATV, it's a good idea to have it in four low. This will make sure you have lots of torque and it will limit your top end speed to make sure you get up the ramps with no hassle and no drama. Now give the ATV some gas and get up those ramps. Of course you don't need to be a speed demon, but you also must stay on the gas and not back off in the middle of loading. Be nice and firm with the throttle. Once your rear wheels are fully into the box, you can stop. Now you want to slowly creep forward until you are nearly touching the front of the bed. Shut your ATV off and make sure you put it in park if you have it or apply the parking brake or both. It's also a good idea to pull the key out of your machine because sometimes wind can suck it out on the highway. Now remove the ramps and close the tailgate if possible. If not, tie downs will suffice. Make sure you get good straps. You will not regret it. To properly tie down your ATV, you want to attach your straps to points that will compress the suspension. Usually, the best place to tie down your ATV from is the cargo racks. Now, if you have ratchet traps like these, they will actually compress the ATV suspension for you. If you have something cheaper than these, get someone to sit on the ATV while you tie it down or someone to pull down on the suspension as you tie it down. With the suspension compressed, it will put constant pressure on the strap, helping to control side-to-side -side swaying motion. And that's how you load an ATV. Yeah.